Cereza and the Lost Demon. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Bayonetta Origins, Cereza and the Lost Demon. And in this one, I kind of forgot, where were we again? I'm recording this like two days after the last one. So, uh, I'm trying to figure this out. Uh, alright. Cereza's asked the bo Bro, my brain. Cereza is asked by the boy from her dreams to destroy four elemental cores somewhere in the forest. With this new goal, she and Cheshire seek the white wolf again. Alright, first elemental core. Alright. I think I remember now. Yo. All right. So in the uh, in the Bayonetta, uh, three little demo thing they did for Bayonetta Origins. I brought it up a couple times now. This is the section where uh, Cereza just gets like jumped. Let's see what this a is. A small glade of otherworldly beauty opened before Cereza. This dark forest held secrets yet. Cereza relaxed ever so slightly. Alright, guess my drift wants me to go this way. Oh, we gotta... Umbra and syrup. An umbra and potion um, casted in butterfly in a butterfly bottle. Grants temporary invincibility and increased speed casting umbra and arts. You can now concoct more on your own. Alright. Bet. So, you should be getting jumped right now. No. We're not getting jumped. Okay. Let's take a break. The Tiernanog menu has been unlocked. Okay, well, let's see what this is. After completion, Tiernanogs can be uh, retired from sanctuaries. Go back and collect any treasure you forgot. You can also challenge Tiernanog time trials, racing for the fastest possible completion. In time trials, you receive rewards for your performance. Keep retrying them until you get all the rewards. Nah. We just saved the game. Yeah, we didn't manual save last time. I gotta make sure I do that. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. There's something up there. Huh? Okay. Journals. Someone has left journal entries scattered through the forest. Pick up any you find with L and read them from the archive. Cheese. That's a trap. Bro, they really be putting mouse traps in here. Oh, hello. Okay, what are you? The Libri Chan, what?
This is getting a little bit more difficult. They're taking a bit longer to die. Alright, in you go. Just was uh, adjusting my headphones real quick. Guiding light. If lost, look to the guiding lights. They will lead Ceres uh, to a nearby sanctuary. Oh wait, we just came from there. Wait. There we go. Oh boy. Those cheeky fairies. What's their problem? Yeah, for real. It's because they know you're weak. Jesha patronized Ceresa. Oh, we just okay. In we go. Calamity. Okay, let's see what uh, this one's about. I bet I'm butchering Tiernanog. I bet that they're not called that. In we go. What you got for me? Wow! What a nice piece of cheese. There we go. Come on, get out of here. Oh, that's dumb. Alright, so there is one thing I've noticed that I think is really interesting. And I talked to my dad about it yesterday, because I was just like, huh, you know, it, it actually would make sense. I don't know for sure how many players are on this game. Like, oh my god, I'm dumb. Whoa, 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 okay. I'll just take care of you. So I was talking to my dad about this, right? He was asking me out of curiosity, Hey, does this Bayonetta game have multiplayer, right? Because I briefly mentioned to him the fact that, uh... Bayonetta 2 has multiplayer. And I thought to myself... Now, I did not double-check this at all. But what if the game... Like, think about it like this, right? The game might actually be able to be played with two people. Think of it as like a Pokemon, uh, Pikachu and Eevee type thing, right? Where, I'm pretty sure this is how that game worked. So, 
Cereza is completely controlled by the left side, right? I'm using a controller, so it doesn't really matter. But if I was using two j separate Joy-Cons, right? Cereza is controlled by the left side completely. All of her actions, even picking stuff to heal. It is all on this side. Cheshire's side is all on the right. Every single thing he can do is on the... <clears throat> sorry. Is on the right. So even if the game isn't intended to be played with two people, right? Which I don't know if it is. I'll have to double check that. But even so, you can. You can 100% play. Because look, once again, even to open a chest. L. Like, it's just... Think about it from that perspective. The game doesn't have any official multiplayer mode, but just by looking at Cheshire and Cereza, there's a very likely chance that you could just play a multiplayer by just handing your sibling or your friend the uh, right Joy-Con. I might actually want to look it up before I end this episode so I can confirm right here. Alright. Get out of here. Bye bye. And we're back. Yo, what's this place? Tirnanog complete. Ceres and Jashir vanquished all Tirnanog in all Tirnanog in Leafy Nook. The ominous fog has been lifted. Points of interest are not marked. In a nearby grove, there was a place illuminated by moonlight. Alright. As she approached, the magic brace in Cereza's wrist began to glow. Okay, yeah, the, the uh, bracelet. So, I finally found you, Cereza. Oh, congratulations! You got busted. Morgana? Haha, -ha, you got busted, bro. Ceresa blinked in disbelief as the ghostly figure of her teacher appeared from within the moonlight. Thank goodness you're safe. When I realized you'd gone to the forest, I was beside myself with worry. But really, Ceresa, to eat the forest despite all my warnings. You even made off with my magic brace. Just what were you thinking? Although this was only a projection of Morgana, her scolding somehow managed to be even more intimidating than the genuine article. Ceresa could only hang her head. Just tell her already, yo. Apparently this could help save my mother, so I'm here. Can you help me? L like, I'm looking bruh. forward to a thorough explanation once you're home safe. But I'm afraid escaping the Avalon Forest will not be easy. Morgana's expression was grave. She explained how the fairy's magic turned the forest into a labyrinthine trap. One in which Ceresa was currently ensnared. Rip. This ancient enchantment was so strong, even Morgana herself could not easily break it. Rip. For now, all I can do is support you from afar. I will begin researching ways out of the forest. You just find a safe place, and try to stay alive until I find a way to save you. Don't worry, Morgana. Look, I 
was able to summon a demon of my very own. Is that... You summoned a demon into your stuffed toy? Sarisa... Well, it will have to do. If you are able to wield that demon, your chances of survival will increase greatly. Alright, bet. This forest belongs to the fairies. However, if you search carefully, I am sure you will find objects that will help you develop your magic abilities. What about these sparkly things? I've picked up a bunch of them since I've got here. Yes, that crystalline structure is a stable source of magical energy. If you feed it to the demon, it may awaken some new powers. The light of the moon began to wane. With it, Morgana's visage grew faint. It was as if the forest itself conspired to impede their plans. Why does Morgana seem like Morgana before seems so like not, you know, just not how do I put it? Morgana just seemed annoying at first, but it seems like, yeah, this is once again showing that Morgana does care about Cereza. This is just like, you know, she feels more like a character now that she's worried. Before, she was just like completely dead inside. Cereza, listen well. Demons are weapons which we witches wield, not friends to be covered. Remember to treat them as such. The remaining moonlight faded, and Morgana disappeared. Cheshire was in a foul mood. What was that? Morgana is my master, and I will not have you speak of her in that way. I feel bad for worrying her, but I don't get why she's so overprotective. I mean, I summoned a demon and everything. Yeah, well, if you look at the dangers in, like, the last three games, I think you would see why it's kind of a problem. Cereza wished that just once Morgana would tell her she did a good job. Yeah, for real, though. She had already forgotten Morgana's scolding. Well, back to chasing the White Wolf. If we get that power, even Miss High and Mighty Morgana will sing our praises. Are you sure about that? Bro, I bet that's gonna be the bit. We're gonna go back, and she's gonna be like, oh... Oh, you saved your mother. Oh, that's nice. Anyways. Oh, yeah. or, oh you got some mysterious that's power. Some Anyways. Things. She said they might help you grow stronger. I wonder what that means. What is this? In one corner was a rock polished to a shiny finish. This would make a good substitute for the mirror she used when training. Hey! Without Morgana breathing down my neck, I might be able to get in some good practice. Worth a try. Okay. So there's a skill tree. Here, Cerise and Cheshire can learn their skills. Cheshire's skills are to the right. Cheshire learns skills using Avalon drops. Moves your cursor to a skill you'd like to learn. Oh my god, this is the cursor. Yo. Hold ZR to charge power. Cheshire, here you go. Series of skills are to the left. Series of learn skills by using Onyx Roses. Try out lots of different skills. Okay, one second. Aw, oh, frick you. The thing I'm wondering about is once again. Yeah, all of these are using R. I think you see, this proves my point more. Even if it's not intentional, multiplayer is possibly fully functional. I really hope that when I look it up at the end of this video, if I remember, 
I'm really praying that it says it is multiplayer, because how do you overlook that? L like, as a developer, how do you overlook something like that? How do you go, hmm, oh my god, no way, there, there is actually fully functional multiplayer here. Like, how do y'all not notice that? That's the thing. So, I'm starting to feel like, if I look it up, hopefully it will say there's no multiplayer mode, but you can play multiplayer. It's still, it's fully functional. Like, officially says that. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. This is wrong. Wait, maybe the flower. Wait. Okay, nope, I'm completely lost. Wait a minute. Uh, all right. I think this is the first time. Oh my god, I am very smart. Oh my god. Remember, guys, I'm a very smart individual. I am definitely not dumb or slow under any means necessary. I am definitely not. There we go. Alright. Wait, let's check first. What's that? Did the fairies do that as well? Okay, I thought for a second that maybe, like, we could use him to shield us, but nope. Okay. There we go. Huh? The little leaf, it looks like we can grab that little leaf though. Well, here's our chance to gain the, uh, wolf's trust. Oh, no, it's gonna run away. Also, notice how the, uh, thing when your magic is recharging literally looks identical to, like, Breath of the Wild's stamina meter.
That is mad weird, bro. What is that thing? Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Uh, alright. Whoa, the grass is all wet and slippery. Wait, there's something in there. Oh no, okay. Oh my... Oh. Eh, I'm not gonna go there right now, though. Okay, this definitely looks like we almost need to go there. Oh boy. That one has a shield. Spriggan. Oh wait, we just gotta... Okay, well now at least I know how he works. There we go. Okay, uh, deflecting that is actually pretty difficult. Hey, what if I just like... Bruh. There we go, you're done now. <laughs> oh my god, another one. Oh, Dispel Illusion. Oh yeah, I forgot I could do this, wait. Interesting. No, that was cat. That wasn't there before. Can I really not? Okay. Alright, and uh, I'm probably going to end it here. It's been like 30 minutes. Alright, so I'm going to save. My bad. I meant to press this. So, uh, hey, that's, uh... Alright, so, nothing too exciting really happens this episode, except the fact that, you know, Morgana uh, can see us. I am going to look this up really quickly, though. If this game does have... If it's considered official, 
the multiplayer thing I thought of, like I thought of. Okay, so the game has not been marketed for co-op, but the, okay, so the game has not been marketed with co-op in mind, but it is a thing. You can apparently play through the whole game like that, which is interesting. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm, like, it's kind of annoying. Nothing too interesting really happened this time around, but hey, maybe next time. But uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.